Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 11 of Direwolf20's server play series. I'm on the server with a couple of my buddies, and TTFT Cuts is here, Alex is here. I think Alex is a new member and a newcomer to the group. Isn't that right, Alex? Cool. And for those of you who don't know, who are you? What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> now you have to type awkwardly. Yeah, Go. explain yourself, young man. Or possibly Sasha, Sasha. old man, or possibly female. I don't know who you are. <laughs> it's a mystery. It's you. Bang. Explain. Also, Soren's here, clearly. No, wait, where? Oh. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Well, welcome aboard. Oh. How many of their. Oh, there's so many of you. <laughs> I know. I think we have more Tinker's Construct mod devs on the server than, like, all the other mod devs combined. Yeah, I think the mod. The... New server name. <laughs> Slime Knight Island. I don't know. Tinker's Construct Testing Grounds. That's it. So, I hear, Mr. Soren, that you've been working on our new base. I have. Uh, I have not seen it yet, so I don't know what to expect. You'll at least land on a platform. Well, that's good. Ooh, oh, fancy. Here. There's, There's a chest here me. with some iron gravel ore and a wooden axe. That's pretty much everything that was in that box you're in right now cool oh look there's some uh goodies in here <laughs> take that oh iridium found that earlier too oh that's nice chest is not sorry enough. clearly a soren <laughs> chest oh really? i this like first it first room best room ever yeah why is that redesign oh it's the soren chest room yes all the inventory will go in this place to link up to other rooms i would like you to know sir that this is a misnomer as there are no soren chests in this room yes Yet. Okay, so this is just the to-do list. Okay, we, we fixed that. All better. <laughs> They're not sore in chests until they have random junk in them, but whatever. Uh, it's all good. Expensive. And what's this room going to be? Looks fancy. Basically, I'm planning on an upstairs level, so the ceilings above us are actually going to be floors as well. So. Oh, neat. I've been toying with an idea, run. by the way, Eric? and I, I, I might be doing it in my single-player world, but maybe also here, too. Um, Soren Bat with three health. Yay! <laughs> away from you because one hit's dead. Like, something we could do if you wanted to be, like, crazy about it is you could have a room where, like, the ceiling of the room is the sky blocks from open blocks, and Ooh. then you could have a second story, but, like, you wouldn't realize there was a second story because you see sky block. True. Hmm. How cool would that be? Maybe. I might, I might be doing that on my single player series at some point, if not already. We might do it underground because you'll get here and you'll see the second story, so it's not going to hide it. Right. But yeah, I like that. Neat idea, right? Yeah. Um, this way we put solar panels down here. What's with the, the room with all the lava in it? Uh, both rooms on the sides have lava for light. Oh, okay, the torches cool. were just here because I was scared. <laughs> Creepers. Clearly. I don't blame you. Yeah. So once we're done, or maybe, you know, pretty soon, actually, I think we should start populating this base with actual things. Yes. Um, because I've been obviously spending like 100% of my time on the workshop. So the workshop has pretty much been the focus of everything that I've been building thus far. But. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. this is the place to pop it. Cool, I like it. Mm. I noticed there are TNT cards in uh, the workshop. I don't know why okay. that would be. So I should place a lever and then activate it, right? Ye no. Um, oh. So I think when we left off last episode, we were looking at doing more thermal expansion machines. Yeah. I don't think there's anything, like, too crazy that's new in there for the actual machine. Like, he didn't add any new machines, right? I know he did a lot of upgrades, but in terms of actual, like, new machines, right? There's nothing terribly new in there? I don't think so. Cool. I'm mean, going to have to check to be sure, but I haven't seen anything. Right. Cool. Um, I'm just kind of poking around in NEI here. See what kind of nifty stuff we've got. So we clearly have the leadstone energy cell, which we'll probably want to upgrade to at least hardened at some point. 
it's funny because I, I see Soren's stream is open on my second window, so I see him talking a lot right now. Yeah. Because someone <laughs> subscribed and I didn't want to interrupt you. Fair enough. <laughs> I was like, man, Soren is really talking about something. What is going on over there? I'm talking like Stan. Do, 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 do. Fair enough. Uh, Morby's uh, here. Oh, I don't know. Okay. She didn't join the channel yet, though. Either right, she guys. forgot the password or... One of those two. So let's get started. Uh, we will probably put together some of the thermal expansion machines, and then we'll kind of look at maybe getting over to our base. Yeah. You know, like, if we got the thermal expansion machines... Ooh, I just got a little bit of the warp effect. It's actually not bad at all. Like the, the simple basic oh. one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't get that poison everybody nearby okay. one. Um, but yeah, it's really not that bad. Um, all right, so let's do this. Yes, we will build the thermal expansion machines in the workshop. That should. I don't want to say like we'll be done with the workshop, but at the very least, the workshop will then have all the things that you would need for like a basic workshop function. Like it's almost there right now. I think the thermal expansion machines getting added, then people can come by and do liquid redstone and whatever stuff they might need from TE. And then we'd be in pretty good shape. Sound cool? Yeah. I like that. Okay, we'll be back in a minute, guys. Okay. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, Soren, I just made a basic redstone furnace. Ooh. Yeah, I thought that was cool. I don't have anything to smelt, but you did. Okay. Yeah, I'm cooking up uh, some more gold because, believe it or not, <laughs> we're a little bit low on that stuff. Like, I don't have enough gold for the rest of the machines that I want to make until this is done smelting. I definitely <laughs> want to get the induction smelter and the magma crucible and that stuff so that people can at least start yeah. making stuff like, you know. Magma crucible, definitely, so I can get glowstone. Oh, wait, you want the liquid glowstone stuff? Yeah. Is that how you're going to light up our base? Part of it, yep. Well, then Magma Crucible will be the next priority. Cool. So Magma Crucible, unless it changed, requires uh, nether brick and more copper gears. Okay. Oh, and I need a leadstone energy cell. Good times were had by all. Yeah, any eye not being able to differentiate between the different machines is definitely wonky in me out. Because I have to, like, now cycle through stuff. It stinks. <laughs> the thing I really wish I could do in any eye is I wish I could sort by color. That. Uh, how would you sort by color? Like. I don't know. Especially okay. because it changes depending on texture pack. So I understand it's not a reasonable ask. I just wish I could oh. do it. I was just wondering, <laughs> is it the integer value or the texture or okay? No, the, 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 the actual color that the block is. <laughs> well, because it would so, make decorating so much easier. Pick a pixel and sell chicken bones, and <laughs> you can sort by yeah, that pixel color. That's not so bad. It shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, you but can just no, take a sample. Well, it, oh, really? You can probably take a sample of the texture and say what is the majority color, and then sort by the integer of that. There, you, no, you, you, mean, you mean I can have what I want? Maybe I'll ask. It depends if we bought it. I, okay. I don't well, think it would be still, high priority, but I will ask him. Well, well, still, I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't get um, it be bothered to make the the builders want to work with microblocks. So somebody on my live stream made me a, a mod that does that. Well, that's cool. Which mm. I, I'm actually gonna want to see it to be on the third because it actually works really dang well. This song is a very awkward song. I'm not... I'll just get this song. All right, Soren, you've got a magma crucible and a fluid transposer here. Yeah, hey! Blue stone in a bucket. Let's see. 200 buckets, right? Yes, that's exactly what you should do. Okay, just making sure. What is going on in this terminal? Okay, and at some point I would like to upgrade the hardened energy cell, but you know what I should make? I'm going to make an induction furnace real quick, guys. I'll be back when it's done. Oh, Alright, Soren. Crafting complete. <gasps> yeah, hey! So, induction smelter. And I also made a sawmill. 
because I don't know about anybody else, but I am like low on wood all the time. <laughs> Just um, take a lumber axe and go near our base. Oh, I'm sure. No, like I even have a lumber axe, but yeah, I'm still I'm still low on wood because <laughs> I keep I haven't set up a wood farm yet. Uh -huh. There's a lot of things I haven't set up yet. It's that early server thing. Everything's manual at the moment, and it kills me. Lame. Totally. Um, <laughs> Alright, so any other thermal expansion machines you think we need? Um, maybe the infuser, in case we put... Do the Tinker Construct tools have the battery on them? Yep. Uh, I don't know. I want to say yes. Alex no. might know. This if is we why can put an RF honest. battery. Yeah. Alex might know if we can put RF batteries on Tinker Tools yet. That might be a good question. Don't know in this version. Okay. Maybe. Um, yeah. So and we definitely need to upgrade the leadstone energy cell. So let's get. Let's <laughs> let's do that. I'm gonna make at least a hardened okay. energy cell. So we just need four invar, which we might even have already. And if we do, then I'm just gonna steal that thing real quick and upgrade it, like on the fly. Oh, you don't have to go look, Alex. It's all right. <laughs> Unless you have the code open already, then you can just, you know, control H. Yeah, and we, we actually it. happen to have... Yep, all okay. right. It's already open. There we go. <laughs> Ask a programmer a question, then tell him not to answer it. That's hard. All right, here we go. You can't, you can't just do that. I know. It doesn't work. Upgrading in to Invar. Hey, I was using that power. Well, you can have it back now. Yay! Oh, you upgraded it to 400? Nice. So yeah, that it thing like should be... I think we're having a net gain of power. It looks so, like it. Though it's actually kind of like dead stop now. Oh, now we have a loss. Because <laughs> you're, you're melting down glowstone. Okay, cool. <laughs> so let's run downstairs real quick and check on some stuff. Just want to make sure our magma crucibles are operating the way they should be, and then we'll know that we're in good shape. Wow, Soren, this is like the worst staircase ever. I made part. I made anything that's cobblestone there. Whatever else is there, I guess someone could jump. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, speaking of jumping, I'm not moving or jumping very fast. Let me fix that. You know, that's right, we're back. kind of. Yeah. So, Soren, I'm going to put an augment in our machines down there. Oh? Okay. I think. You think? Okay, that sounds even more dangerous. Yeah, um, I'm also going to maybe pulverize up this stuff. You know what I want to do? I want to be able to automate just a little bit. So let's get... <laughs> Are we sure Soren is 21? No. I'm going to set the uh, automation up for the ore stuff because... I want this guy to output to the top because we're actually like severely low on things that are things, good and useful, like resources and whatnot. There we go, that works. You said augments. I assume you're still so, crafting it. Uh, yes, I want to try out the augments on these machines too. Um, do I need planks? I don't know if about need, but. <laughs> I think we have some blanks, actually. Uh, let's try... I want to do the speed upgrade one. So that's this guy. Actually needs wool, believe it or not. Um, and bronze. So the tier one, and apparently it will double the speed, but three times the energy use. Doesn't sound terrible. So I'm going to need, let's say, eight bronze. Yes. Follow Barbie now. Yay! Or within the next 10 seconds. Then now would be suffice. I uh, also need uh, more wool, apparently. But I just want to try out the augment and see how well it works. And if it works in the tier 1 machine. So the augment I'm going to disable is the redstone control. So I'm going to remove redstone control as an augment option. And I'm going to insert the secondary sieve. Yeah. No, that's 10% check. What? 
How'd I get 10% secondary chance? That's not what I wanted. I derped that up a little bit. Indeed you did. Okay, these books are getting out of hand. Oh, I did do that wrong. I wanted transmission coil. No, wait, secondary sieve. There we go. Secondary reception uh, coil. 2x speed, 3x used. Okay. That's not terrible. You got the flux. You stay away from me, Tarek. That's no. <laughs> no. Is that any way to treat your fellow infected Minecrafter? It is. Stay Sounds away like from okay. infectious one this time. Okay, well, if you say so. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so this should double the speed of the ore grinding thing. And I'm actually going to test it real quick. Because I have some ore saved up that I haven't processed yet. Strange. Well, I went mining last episode and then didn't process it because I was building this thing. That should be it. Alright, let's try this properly now. So this is going to start running, then I want to throw this in there. should go twice as fast. Does that look like it's going twice as fast? I don't know. I don't know if that's really working. Maybe the augments for speed increases aren't in yet, or, or aren't working yet. 2x speed, 3x energy used. Requires a hardened machine. Oh, so we have to upgrade this pulverizer to a hardened version. I'm not entirely sure that the improved ones have better base stats. I think it might just be that they can accept the upgrade. I believe that's the case, yes. I was saying that, I was muted. It's, yeah, not hard. <laughs> yeah, I need to make this hardened then. So, yeah, how do I make it hardened? Only accept one more. Uh, there is a recipe somewhere, but it's not going to be for that specifically. Oh, what was it? I guess hardened means it has to be the one with hardened glass. No, I think that's reinforced. Harden's usually invar. Okay, if, if Harden's invar, then I just need some electrum and some invar. And we have electrum in the AE. Do we? All right, well, I need some invar then. Okay, that one I didn't have. Thank you. Electrum is what? Iron and ferrous? Nickel. Yeah, ferrous. All right, well, at least I can cook this up real quick. I just want to try out the uh, upgrade system and see how it works, because I imagine it's pretty cool. Should probably not leave that in there. All right, I've got the hardened pulverizer now. So let's see, we'll let this thing. So that does not look any faster without the augment, but now if we drop the augment in there, and by the way, we have four augment slots now. Oh yeah, look at that, that is definitely faster. Cool. Huh. But of course it uses triple the energy. So there's that. Double the speed, triple the energy. Not bad though. But, now I want to double our energy output. It's also going to double the fuel usage, but... That I can accept. Now I'm actually questioning. Um, doesn't say there's any... thing that it really requires, so let's try it. Augment. Secondary transmission coil. Oh, look at that! Now we're getting 160 RF out of this thing. That's cool. Yeah. Can I put, like... Oh, I can't have the same augment in twice. It actually completely stops working if you have the same augment in twice. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I can't just hard to the previous. What's that? Uh, the next upgrade up requires a previous one to be installed already. Yes. Oh. 
So basically you're going to be committed to something. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, you either get an efficient engine or an engine that produces lots, but not efficient. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Like, my point would be I would probably want the secondary transmission mm -hmm. coil, which doubles the energy, and then I'd maybe have the tier 2 fuel link optimization, which gives you, like, plus 30%. So that might be might be worth trying. I don't know. I like the idea, though. Like, you, can, you really have to kind of pick and choose where you want your upgrade to go. Do you want it to be efficient or do you want it to be fast? That's good. All right, guys. So we've got the whole thermal expansion suite of machines installed. Uh, we checked out the augments, which I like the augment system. Very cool. I will be playing with this quite a bit in the near future. Um, I'm, I'm pretty interested to see like what the top tier augment is going to look like. If we fast. like, yeah, pretty fast, I would hope. <laughs> of course, it's probably going to like destroy the energy reserves, but that's okay. Probably. Who cares? Eh, eh, exactly. Who cares? Um, I only put one upgrade in the um, system downstairs for machine speed, so if we're having problems with power, like we'll just have to put more upgrades in. Like I made some, but I didn't put them in because I think we have plenty of RF generation at this point. There's really not a need. In fact, I don't even know if we need the one that's in there. I just want to try Someone it out. In my chat just said, Enderium isn't that fast. No, I, I don't know. know it's fast. I, I think, think it is too. It's probably not like 20 overclockers fast, but it's probably no. also not using a million RF per tick either. <laughs> Hopefully not. All right, guys, we'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. And I was just making some sulfur dust. Ooh. Soren, I think I'm ready to do this, just so you know. <gasps> okay, I'm going to come back to the workshop as soon as I get more of a book stand. So, one Okay. So I stood bordering my um, ender plants for a while, and as a result, I think I've got some good stuff here. We're going to see. Do I have any tin? Oh, good. I got some shiny ingots from my ferris. That's good. Just need to burn this stuff down. By the way, uh, Soren. I have to ask um, Mr. Lemming a question. The speed augment huh. also gives a negative 5% secondary chance. Yeah. So I took that out when I was making the shiny metal because I you know, got some ferrous, wanted shiny metal, and shiny metal you can only get as a secondary output from ferrous ore, right? So you have a 10% chance of getting that from ferrous ore. So does negative 5% mean now it's 5% or is it like 9.5%? Um, I don't know offhand. I, I would have to ask him, later. right? Probably. I mean, you could run tests, but it'll take forever. Marvie, did you bring your book? I did. Okay. <laughs> I was uh, like, oh. <laughs> Tin, tin, silver, and shiny. Ah, it's it's silver now. Okay. Might even have silver here. Yes, good. Oh, is that changed now? It used to be 310, Did it, didn't it? Didn't it used to be 310? Yeah, it was 310 and a uh, shiny. I thought so. You know what I hope I have? Diamonds. Oh, yeah, I found diamonds, didn't I? Okay, good. I found lots of diamonds, so we're good there. Um, but I might need some obsidian. Yes, we're going to need some obsidian, guys. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. Hardened glass acquired. So now I should be able to make a tesseract. So step one. Oh, right. I need to get this stuff in here and induction smelt that up. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh, oh. I know, right? Go, little guy, go. Run! <laughs> Figure I might as well cook up the rest of this stuff. And then I'm going to need these guys melted again. Good, I did my math right on the number of ender pearls I need. 
And then a full-blown Tesseract is just going to need silver and bronze. So copper, silver, tin. I'm going to need eight bronze. Nice. So the plan here, guys, is Soren and I are going to take this Tesseract, we're going to bring it back to our new base, and it's going to serve to jumpstart our new base with power needs. That's the benefit of building the workshop. I get to steal its power. <laughs> All your power belongs to us. Exactly. We might need to make another one of those energy conduit doohickeys, but... And we don't have conduits yet, do we? No, we don't have redstone energy conduits just yet. Mm, okay. Sorry, buddy. Yep. <laughs> All right, so I think we're ready to hook up our Tesseract. Hopefully Tesseracts work. <laughs> You're right. It's like, uh, ooh, you I mean, we spent a lot of time making it, and I didn't go test to see if they actually work. But, I mean, I Details. can only assume... So I'm going to set this guy's power output to up. I'm going to set this to frequency 1. This test record will only feed uh, thermal expansion machines, correct? Not ICT. Uh, correct. Okay, then we'll just have two separate rooms. So sending energy. All right, it's set to send energy. Mm, get up. I'm going to tell it to ignore a redstone signal, too. So, uh, do we have any machines at the new base yet? That we we can do test not. This only building. So what I'm going to do is make a pulverizer real quick. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, I'm not the slave. I'm the architect. <laughs> Channel at the moment as well, too, oh. so I'll keep getting confused. Oh. <laughs> hey, all right, so let's sum up the chat here. Yeah. Do we not have any gravel? How's that even a possibility? Uh, because we go from cobblestone to the sand, and thermal expansion is the one that does the 10% chance for gravel. Well, we luckily have flint nearby, so... I'm actually have gravel in one of these chests over here in this base. Yeah, 31 if you need it. Nah, that's cool. <laughs> um, I need to go back to chat. All right. All right, I've got a pulverizer, and we're going to test if the Tesseract, Dyer's Tesseract, configured to receive energy, go. Hooray! There's staff members all over Twitch, because they are staff of Twitch. Hey, you stole the pulverizer, by the way. <gasps> pop, pop that. Well, here's what I want to do. I want to test if we need the energy thingy. I'm guessing this might not work. Yeah, that's not working. I'm guessing this also will not work. Nope. Yeah, that's Tema, because like apparently some things work and other things don't. I I don't really. You, you do you do essentially need that energy thing though. So uh, let's see. That is the breath fest search. Good, we have one of those. Uh, dynamos require the um, node that we have there because they push energy. They don't store it, per se. So we don't have enough gold for the thing. So I think we need to go mine between this episode and next, Mr. Soren. Okay, you have the hammer, I believe? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, we'll be right back. Off. All right, guys, so yeah, as I suspected, I think we've reached the wrapping up point for the episode. So I'm going to go do a bit of mining. Uh, I do have my dire hammer here, but 
Die hammer. Die it might need a little bit of repairing. I might just go ahead and burn some cobalt on a fast manual repair of it because, yeah, it needs to be repaired. All right, so what we'll do is we'll come back next episode, and I think, Soren, it's about time to start working on our base. And very, very quickly after we start working on our base, we should start working on our quarry of some sort because yes. I want automated <laughs> mining. <laughs> All the things. You know. I see, um, what did, uh, oh, we've got a, a binding ritual here, I guess. I think this is the ritual of binding, isn't it? Binding ritual? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody hooked us up with the ritual of binding in the workshop, so that was nice. Yeah, we put that there early. Nice. Very cool. Hmm. Alright. And proceeded to, uh, surprise Zappos with lightning by turning it on. Nice. So I'm still pretty um... good in terms of essence. All right, guys. So for now, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll be back next time to start working on our base, Soren. Yay. Yay. All right. Later, guys. Take it easy.